They're excited to have us here. We're going to have a kind of a meeting with some of the head people of this pate and kind of talk about what we're going to be doing this week. Well, really what it means for the village is, is access to safe water and that of course is a physiological need and once you satisfy the physiological needs then you can start to focus on things like education and, and just overall things to, to improve the life and the lifestyle. water that they have is not healthy to drink, and they don't have any real option for that. So they do need help, and we have ways to help them. This trip, in the very least, will help us to find ways to help them better for the next trip. There are some hardware stores. We're going to scout out what uh, uh, tools and uh, fittings and those types of things are available. We'll go back and we'll do some measurements on site, make sure we have the right measurements. We'll do some hygiene education. Uh, again, just continue to get to know the people and get all the plans going forward so when we get the, uh, the green light, we can charge. We know what we need to do because they're fairly simple problems, but what makes it hard is the fact that we have different challenges that we don't have back at our own jobs. We don't have to deal with the and convincing people that what we're doing is and will help them. It's definitely real world. I have the opportunity to work in the field half the time and at my desk half the time when I'm back at home, but this is making decisions on the fly and working with the materials that you have in the country that you're in where the hardware store is different and maybe too far away from your site. Yesterday and the day before we worked on clearing out this channel, digging it out, getting out all the trash out of here. Today we're using the, uh, the rocks and anything we can find that's stable that we can lie in the channel, uh, reduce erosion, allow this water to continue to flow on through out of the bate and, and uh, reduce stagnant water and hopefully reduce the chance of malaria or dengue fever. I hope we can uh, continue to uh, um, move on with this partnership and uh, collaborate and, and help improve the quality of life. Hey buddy, amigo. Oh, gracias. So we left some posters here um, for the teachers to use in the school to put up around at the various wash stations um, with little pictures and angry germs and happy uh, clean hands, that kind of thing. We're teaching the children about hand sanitation, about washing hands and how to use soap and how soap gets the um, microorganisms off their hands and keeps them from being sick. What I like about uh, Engineers Without Borders, uh, it's a number of things. First. When we come down to a country like the Dominican Republic, it gives us a real appreciation for everything that we have and take for granted in the United States. Uh, also, we can use our skills, our engineering skills, and have an immediate impact, and that's just extremely rewarding when you see uh, how grateful the, the people are that you're down here, that you want to help, and that, that you are helping. The fundamental reason is to do the projects for the people here, but there are so many side benefits. As a corporation, I'm a, I'm a vice president of our company, and one of the things that we see as a benefit of this is that by working with students and young engineers, it's a great recruiting opportunity for us. All the things that you're looking for in a good employee, you'll see it here, and you develop a relationship, and you'll be able to do a lot better assessment of good employees and attract them to your company by working alongside them for a week than you will in a one-hour interview. And out here, you know, you're in every phase of the design, you know, the design, the manufacturing, and seeing it used in the field, so it's great. It's just a great experience. Yeah, this is uh, hands-on, uh, definitely hands-on. It allows you to, to meet a lot of different people. It allows you to utilize your engineering skills uh, in a very actionable way. You don't have to be an engineer. We have people, uh, people that are in a group that, that aren't. There are lots of things to do for, for other people.
The Engineers Without Borders is a great organization. It, uh, it, a carry, it embodies all the things that are right about what to do and how to use our resources and our expertise. I felt like I really connected with, with some people who needed our help. It wasn't just like the normal engineering project. It was um, people who really need what we can offer. It provides experience that are outside your desk job. It's hands-on. I get to help people to use some engineering expertise. Um, all in all, I think it's a great thing to join and a great activity and organization to be involved with. Not only are you no, helping people, you're learning more about yourself and things that you didn't think you could do, you can do. I've learned so much on this trip and I've seen just a different way of life and it's been really gratifying and a really great experience. I would really recommend it to anyone. It's a, it's a good time and uh, I think we're doing some good here.